This is a head scratcher. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to You, Me, and the Movies. Tonight is a special request from the one and only Granddaddy Steve. Mm -hmm. Steve has requested the movie Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. Never heard of it. Reminds me of that song. It's a film by David Lynch starring Kyle MacLachlan from 1986. They would later team up again for Twin Peaks, which we have watched. Okay. All right. So I'm wondering how from like familiar David, it would be to Twin Peaks. How it's David supposed to be a thriller. Lynch? Like David Lynch, yeah. Who's that? The director. Is he He's directed things that we've watched? Twin Peaks. Besides that? Um I'm thinking David Fincher. Yeah, it's that different. a different person. That's a different guy. That's a totally different guy. Nothing we've watched yet, but he also directs the nineteen eighties Dune. Okay. Which we'll probably yeah. get to and as well. And then Mahal and Drive, which we will get to as well. Okay. Well, Steve, thank you for your support and for picking this movie that neither neither of us have seen. Nope. Neither of us have seen it. So it's going to be a first one, for both of us. a wonderful night for both. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping that it's not too scary, but maybe just intriguing. Yeah. But I guess we'll see. Well, should we jump right in? I think so. All right. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out. You can also make requests just like Granddaddy Steve. Yep. And check out our Patreon link down below to make those requests. The link's down below. We've got full-length commentaries, early access, access to our polls to help us pick what we watch next and more. Check it out. Let's watch Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. It's a new religion that'll bring you to your knees. It's black velvet. Blue velvet, if you please. <laughs> Just kidding, that's black velvet, sorry. It has the sound of an old school movie. Oh, here we go. This is my jam. It is a song. Not the song that I think I think of when I hear Blue Velvet. But I think Black Velvet, so. <laughs> I had a bus driver that looked just like that crossing guard. <laughs> you get a stinger. Did he get a stinger in his neck? What happened? I had a heart attack or something. It's just how I hold my neck when I get it kinked in the wrong way, you know? What is this even about? The thriller. Oh, shoot. Steve, what is happening here? Was he bit by a bug? I don't know. I was getting a real Honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibe <laughs> from that scene. There's a whole lot of wood waiting out there, so let's get going. Chop to it. <laughs> Good one. Missed. Couldn't hit the broad side of the barn. No, I tried. I tried. What are you in a barn in the picture? It was a shed. I don't know. Mr. Beaumont? Your son Jeffrey's here to see you. It'd be a really bad stinger. <laughs> Why does he have a trach in? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Did he have like a stroke or something? Is that what that was? He wouldn't wear head body gear. That's like know. to fix vertebrae. It's like after you have like a Neck vertebrae yeah. procedure done. He throws like a girl. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, right. You throw like a girl. Actually, I'm ew. I throw like a guy. Mm. Ew. It's smart. You never know when you need an extra ear. Usually you hope for an extra set of ears, not just 
one. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers. Found an ear. You did? A human ear? No, oh, he's been looking for one. We'll check the morgue records, but I don't recall anything coming in minus an ear. The person may very well still be alive somewhere. What can you tell about the person from the ear? Oh, he's only got one left. Probably looking for a one-eared man <laughs> of also, the Caucasian it looks variety. Like the ear was cut off with scissors. Oh. Oh. Comb the perimeter for anything with you ears ear attached. Too. It's kind of hairy. <laughs> well, it's a hairy ear. No, I'm just gonna walk around. All right. Well, Jeffrey, you're not going down by Lincoln, are you? Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Better offer her a warm glass or shut the hell up. <laughs> You're on it tonight. Game is on fire. Now this, I think this movie's gonna be a little weird based on David Lynch. <laughs> right? Twin Peaks was weird. Yeah, it was odd. Yeah. This guy just holding his dog on the sidewalk there. It's weird. I guess that's what got me into this business. <laughs> Must be great. It's horrible too. Yeah, he's gotta look for people with missing ears, right? How did you know? I just know, that's all. What else? It's also close to the field where you found the ear. It's a strange world, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know where this woman's apartment building is? They had her under surveillance for a couple months, except I don't know what they found out, because it's not my dad's case. I uh, guess you gotta get back home pretty soon, huh? Mm, not really, why? You wanna see the building? Yeah. Come on, I'll show you. What's going through your mind? I just, uh, I just don't understand what's happening. This little kid lived there with the biggest tongue in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? Choked on his tongue. He's dead now. You know the chicken walk? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Seemed normal to me. That's how you walk. Are you hungry or thirsty or both? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd like to talk to you about something. Is he into her because she's got intel about this year? <laughs> I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, he is nice looking. Yeah. <laughs> should see his chicken walk. They'd just be throwing their panties at him if they saw him do that chicken walk. I got to thinking, I'll bet someone could learn a lot by getting into that woman's apartment. You know, sneak in, hide, and observe. Sneak into her apartment? Yeah. It's illegal? No one will suspect us. Because no one would think two people like us would be crazy enough to do something like this. He does have a point there. Yes? What is it? Pest control. You gotta do your apartment. Mm -hmm. That stuff stinks. Plus, oh, it's new stuff. Grand Central Station. It's only the bug men. You don't need to jimmy a window, just steal the key. Sure, look at me. I didn't have time to get a window, but I found these keys. Hopefully they're to her doors and not somebody else's. Okay. Okay. You better get out before someone sees us. Okay. She loves Mike, but she likes hanging out with this guy who walks like a chicken sometimes. Chicken walk. Chick magnet. Seems like it. Here's to an interesting experience, huh? I'll drink to that. <laughs> Ah, uh, the 80s when you could get a beer in high school. Ladies and gentlemen, the blue lady, Miss Dorothy Valens. The blue lady. Did she do it with her top off? No, just... It's not that kind of club. What? I don't love her voice. This wasn't the 80s, though. 
Oh, this film doesn't take place in the 80s, you think? No, I, I mean, it was made in the 80s, but I think it takes place in, like, the, I don't know, the age of the cars makes me think, like, the 70s. I'm going to honk four times. I'll go one, two, three, four, and then you'll hear it, and you'll know she's on her way. There you go. Count four times. One, two, three, four. I thought she was going to go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> And she never saw him alive again. Just kidding. He's like the main actor in this, so it'd be weird to kill him off really early. Where are you going to hide in a tiny little apartment? It was a warm night out and she didn't need her overcoat. Or her undercoat. <laughs> Is little Donnie alright? Is he there with you? Frank! Frank, what's the matter with him? Mommy loves you. Okay, Frank, sir. My apartment, Jeffrey Beaumont. I wanted to see you. Are you kidding? Leave. No way! I want to see you get undressed! Come closer. Closer. What's going on? <laughs> you might get a blowjob out of this, but... <laughs> I hope she doesn't chop it off. <laughs> Lie down. That's an aggressive stance with the knife. <laughs> Don't touch me or I'll kill you, but I am going to have sex with you. Shut up. Don't say anything. Go in the closet. Don't say anything or I'll kill you. I mean it. This is a head scratcher. <laughs> Shut up! It's daddy, you head. Where's my bourbon? So this guy's got somebody she loves held hostage. And your son. Spread your legs. Wider. Black market gynecologist. Don't you look at me. Oh, mommy, mommy. What is he sniffing? Don't you look at me. Steve, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Her son's name. I think it's the owner of the ear. Vincent Van Gogh cut off his ear. 
Yeah. So her husband? Ear was far too large and hairy to be a child's. Nothing. Are you all right? No, she's not all right. I don't think I'm all right. Hold me. I'm scared. I'm scared. Don, must be her husband or something. Eat me. Eat me. Well, she's got some problems. I think that's what he expected to see when he got in that closet today. Yeah, imagine not. It's dark. Well, aren't you going to tell me about it? No, his face healed quickly. He's all on one night. It's a strange world. Yeah, the word is f***ed up, not strange. It's <laughs> f***ed up world. And all of a sudden, thousands of robins were set free, and they flew down and brought this blinding light of love. So I guess it means there is trouble till the robins come. You're a neat girl. So are you. I mean, a guy. I like being with you last night. Same here. Uh, dude, she's married. What a weirdo. Why is Dennis Hopper always playing creeps? This guy, the bomb maker and speed the creepy villain and meet the deedles it's 1 and this is the mighty voice of lumberton the town where people really know how much wood a woodchuck chucks only if the woodchuck could chuck wood though. Yeah, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood I call him the yellow man you saw his back the other day at dorothy's apartment today i saw the yellow man go into frank's building laughing with frank now yeah, the only trouble is what does that prove Nothing really. Frank's a funny guy. <laughs> and meet up with a well-dressed man carrying an alligator briefcase. I'm involved in a mystery. I'm in the middle of a mystery. And it's... You like mysteries that much? Yeah. I don't like mysteries that much. You're a mystery. I like you. You're a mystery. I like you very much. I'm not much of a mystery. Oh, Mike's gonna be pissed. No now. kidding. I think he was mad before. Yeah, I worry a lot. I got you into this. Yeah, funny. I thought this all was about his dad, but I mean, maybe there's a connection, but it's just odd, right? Mm -hmm. Just dad being in the hospital is the only reason he walked through that field to find the ear. Circumstances of why his dad is in the hospital are still the mis that's still the mystery I would like solved. They're running tests, babe. No police. No police. Don't hit me! No! Oh jeez. disease in me now. I know the difference between right and wrong. That's good. Some girls just like it rough, I guess. I still have you inside of me. It helps me. Uh, oh. Hello, baby. Uh, call Who him daddy. Uh, friend. I don't want to go. Go where? For a ride. A ride! Now that's a good idea. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Get your f***ing robe. Raymond, come on. We're going to go for a joyride. Joyride. Yeah, it's definitely the 80s. 
It's the Hades, yeah. yeah but, you, know, you ever been to Pussy Heaven? No. Well, what did he say? No, no. I hadn't been to Pussy Heaven. <laughs> Hey Raymond, you get enough fear for Ben too. This is Pussy Heaven? No, this is it. Oh. <laughs> I'm Paul, what's your name? Jeffrey. <laughs> Do you have any idea what's going on? Not a <laughs> clue. <laughs> Yeah, say, here's to your f***ing Frank. If you like, Frank. Here's to your f Cheers. I'm Paul. Great. Thanks, Paul. Uh, let Ted see her kid, huh? Donnie! Donnie! But Donnie! No! So her kid's name is Donnie also. Junior? Yeah. Makes me wonder if her husband is dead or it was his year. Is he holding a snake back there? Anyone uh, want to go on a joyride with us? How about you? Huh? Let's <laughs> oh, anything that moves! <laughs> so Frank seems a little unhinged. You're just getting out of now? <laughs> just piecing it together. <laughs> You're like me. Ooh, 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 what's the matter? Ooh. Hey, leave her alone! Get him out of the car, Raven! What the f is he snorting? I think it's just oxygen. No, it's not just oxygen. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not helium. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's doing it. <laughs> I love the initiative she's taking. She's like, they're not asking for it. I'm gonna give it to them anyways. <laughs> you receive a love letter from me, you're f forever. You understand? I don't understand. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I love her confidence. She's so far my favorite character in this in this movie. Don't even know her name. No idea. Just some random hooker. For instance, they say that many marriages are yeah, saved by people. I love you, but you're gonna get it. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Is that you threatening your aunt? The yellow man. Oh, he's a detective. I don't see very many yellow suits anymore. Nope, it's a bold choice. I met with a third man. This well dressed guy. Here's that photo. That's Frank, just in a disguise. I look like Frank. Kind of look like Frank. Dad, what's wrong? There better be nothing wrong. Is her dad in on it too? No. Finally, we might find out what's wrong with his dad. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, John, get a move on. Just a minute, Tom. Easy does it, Jeffrey. So long, Jeffrey. You two have a nice time tonight, okay? Okay. What's going 
Just a little fatherly advice. Jeffrey, what was that all about? It's nothing. Mike's gonna be pissed. Is he at the party too? Looks like a high school party to me. It's all taken care of. Okay. Um, you want something to drink? What's all taken care of? I love this song. Just the... I don't know this song. Do you know this song? Neither do any of the people in that room. Well, that went fast. <laughs> what about Blue Velvet? Yeah, Mike. What's on your mind? I just don't know what's happening. They went to a party. What's all the point of this? Oh. Crazy pants. Is it Frank? Yeah. Come on! Right here. Right, Look, I don't oh no. Oh is no. That, uh, is that your mother? Is that your I mother, see. Jeffrey? No, no, come here! You I mean, Are they balanced? I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. I'm really it's sorry. Okay. Okay. Really sorry for what? <laughs> Jeffrey. Sandy's not gonna appreciate that. <laughs> She's in for a surprise. My secret love. Lady, you're spilling all the beans. I love you! Love me! Awkward. He put his disease in me. He put his disease in me. He put his disease in me? Is that what she said? Yeah. What? Like an STD? I should go. Go, Sandy. I mean, at least you didn't do it with him, so, I mean, because if he put his disease in her, then she put his her disease in him. Maybe I don't it know wasn't that, disease. I don't know what that means. Was, she said jizz. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she said jizz. <laughs> It hurts. Her Robin dream. She's wondering where it's at. Uh. He said someone was hurt and he wants Detective Williams there. We do not know his whereabouts at this time. We'll find him! Uh oh. Is that her dad? I think so. Oh no. Or is that Zero. the guy? Is that her dad, or is it the guy who left here? He's got a little brain sticking out. Yeah. There's dad. Uh. Thank God. <gasps> oh my God. Must have been Don. They killed him. Is what she said, right? I'm gonna let them find you on their own. When? It's impressive that he's just standing there with brains sticking out of his head, though. Right? I don't think he's all there now. I would say not, but <laughs> still impressive that his body knows how to hold itself up. Where's the boy? Oh, still at the... This is it? This is it, thank you. Pussy heaven? What was it? What did they call it? <laughs> Ben's, this is it, pussy heaven. Yeah. <laughs> That's Frank. His disguise isn't very good. Don't go back there. You know that's where he's going. His apartment. Frank is on his way up here in the well-dressed man disguise. I've got no way out of. He's 
go to radio. What the are you doing there? Oh, jeez. Ready or not. Lockdown in progress. Call 21. I can hear your radio, you stupid Get out of there. Stop Sandy from coming in. Shoot him. Oof. Brained him. Robin's brought the light. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeff. Feel much better now, Jeff. Good deal, man. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I saw him outside. Maybe Robin's were here. I don't see how they could do that. I could never eat a bug. It's a strange world. Steve, that was weird. <laughs> it's a weird movie. What happened to his dad? I don't know. That's the part that kills me that's the, the most. That's the mystery I wanted solved. Yeah, that's the part that kills me the most. Whatever happened to his dad. My thoughts are, he was bit by a bug, mm -hmm. fell, and like broke his neck. Cracked some vertebrae or something. Right. Could be, yeah, bit by a bug. The and bug is the, the darkness, was... right? I mean, I get where they were kind of trying to go with it, right? Yeah. The the bug was like the the darkness in the world. The robin was the light. The end. The robin is eating the bug. Yeah. Uh, I, Very I, surreal there at the end. I get what they were trying to do there. I think. Boy, Dennis Hopper. Huh? Dennis Hopper's Frank. What do you think of that? That guy's a f <laughs> creep. He's just like everything I have ever seen him in. He's real creepy. Mm -hmm. And what the hell was he sniffing? Right? What was he like? I think he was just getting high on I oxygen. just don't think it works quite like that, yeah. but I don't know, I mean, maybe. Taking straight oxygen is supposed to get you high, so. I don't know. Don't know. That was weird. That was yeah. all really weird. We don't know why. Why what? Why Frank kidnapped the husband and kid other than to just have sex with the yeah, wife. I mean, that's, I mean, he was weird, so maybe that's it. He saw the singer at the bar, liked her way of singing Blue Velvet. Got infatuated with that. He's got a thing for that blue velvet hanky. It felt like there were, should have been some sort of drug related situation, but we it never really got into I that. I think they busted his drug ring, but the the, the loose end was cop that was working for him. Jeffrey got, got onto it, the, the drug got supply. onto him by finding his you know fetish woman who yeah he was using. Followed all of his connections back to where his hideout was with all the drugs. And... Mm -hmm. and there was just a lot of, like, nondescript things going on. <laughs> like, there was more backstory that they did not share in the movie, which mm -hmm. is fine. It was just, it was weird. Yeah. It was, it took me a while to figure out what the hell was even <laughs> happening, but. Yeah. So what do you think? Despite the weirdness. A happy ending. I love yeah. a happy ending. <laughs> um don't know that I'd like go out of my way to watch it again yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it was on TV I might watch it just to see if I could figure out what the hell's happening yeah. a little bit sooner okay. but see if maybe I could piece together more of the puzzle pieces mm -hmm. not the best movie I've ever seen Steve but thank you for the suggestion it's early in David Lynch's career Right. It definitely had a very Twin Peaksy feel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. it definitely had. You could, you can tell that I mean, Twin Peaks is even more weird than this. Yes. Yep. Twin Peaks is the same way. I don't. I don't think I'll willingly go out of my way to watch it again. Yeah. But it, David Lynch has a lot of weird, weird movies too. I, yeah. think. I think a lot of his weird. A lot of David Lynch films are surreal. 
mm. right? Or it's a strange world. Right? Yeah. I think most of his movies take place in a strange world. In a world. strange world. Yeah. So, well, this fit that bill yeah. for sure. One of the things I, I did like about the film is the colors. It was a very colorful film. Vibrant. The blue velvet, yeah. the yellow jacket on mm -hmm. the bad detective, the flowers showing up every now and then. Yeah, vibrant colors yeah. kind of all around. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Yeah. Anything else? What should people comment on? What's their favorite David Lynch movie? We should probably add to our list. Yeah, Because I'm sure. sure there's a bunch you haven't seen. Yeah, name a David Lynch movie that you think we should watch yeah. next. Put them in the comments below. Your favorite David Lynch movies we should put on the list. See if yeah, you we'll, seen them. we'll add them to the list. I know Mulholland Drive for sure on our list, but... And Dune, because we're going to watch Dune before the new Dune comes out. Yeah. If any other David Lynch recommendations, put them down below. Anything else? Thanks again to Steve for the yeah. the pick. Yeah, thanks, and, Steve. And for your support on our channel. We Absolutely. appreciate it. And um, happy to watch any other weird <laughs> you want us to watch later. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> and uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Come hang out with us. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to our polls to... Help us pick what we watch next and more links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.